hello and welcome back to my channel today is friday and we're here to do my february wrap up a week later but that's fine so february was a very good reading month for me i read eight books which is all but two from my tbr from that month and one of them i have already read this month uh for a total of 4010 pages which is a thousand more pages than january I didn't read any graphic novels this week, so all eight books are full-length novels, and some of them are quite chunky. So let's just get right on into it. The first book that I finished in February was one that I actually started in January, and that is The Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco. For those of you who don't know, this wonderful novel has also been turned into a movie, which I have not got watched yet, and it is about, you know, 14th century monks who live in a monastery and murders happen. There's also a really cool library in this book that really reminded me of the Library of Alexandria and gave me a lot of feelings. I really enjoyed this book. I rated it a 4 out of 5 and would recommend it, though it is quite philosophical so if philosophy and theology are not your thing, maybe pass this one up. Then I decided to read something a little shorter. It was one of my TBR jar picks. For the month of February and that is The Manticore by Robertson Davies. This is the second book in the Death Forge trilogy and this one follows David Stoughton who is the son of the person in the first book but is also in the first book and he goes to Europe to get some grief counseling. It was good. I didn't enjoy it as much as the first one. I rated it four stars and this is a series that I really love and hope to finish within the year. Next I read the fourth Wheel of Time book. I loved this book. Uh, let's just get it right out of the way. I rated this five stars. I thought it was fantastic. It is a chunky book. It is over a thousand pages. And I just like the way that all the stories get tied in together and... Mm. Mm. Rand was not as whiny in this book. He's kind of taking more control over his destiny and... It was just really cool. You got to explore some different cultures in this book too, which I always love. And this was also a TBR jar pick for February. Then I read The Last Mrs. Parrish, which was again a TBR jar pick. And gotta say, was not impressed. I will be unhauling this book. I rated it one star. I didn't think that it dealt with abusive relationships very well. There was a lot of things that this book did not do very well. I didn't like the motivations of any of the characters, but if you want more in-depth thoughts about this, because I do believe I ranted about it a little bit, please watch my blog. Uh, I'll link it up above. Then I read The Omen Machine by Terry Goodkind. Uh, as stated in my Tag Tuesday video, I am trash for Terry Goodkind and have always been, will always be. This is not his strongest novel. There were some weaknesses. I liked a lot of the discussions about prophecy in here, which is something that he's been criticized for uh, along with being preachy. I understand the criticism. It just doesn't really affect my loving of the book. Uh, unfortunately, the ending cuts off in a very bad place. So I will need to read the next book soon because I need to know what happens. I rated this a three star. It's respectable. You know, I don't know if I'd recommend it, but it's a series that I love. So we going for it. This was also a TBR jar pick. Then I read my last TBR jar pick for the month of February, which is We That Are Left by Claire Clark. I had expected great things from this. It takes place in one of my favorite time periods, which is World War One, but I didn't like it that much. I kind of expected it to be more of a cross between Atonement and A Testament of Youth, and it was not. I didn't like many of the characters. I liked Oscar for like three quarters of the book, but then the last part of the book kind of ruined him for me. And I rated it three stars. It's nothing special. It might not be something that I really keep in my collection because I don't see myself rereading it. We're down to the final two. So this month, I read Tess of the Road. Now, to get this out of the way first, you do need to read the Seraphina duology before you read this. Things will not make sense if you don't read Seraphina first because Seraphina is a character in this book and it's important to know some of the political uh, system 
before going in. That being said, I understand why people have not liked this book. Tess is an alcoholic, she's suffering from PTSD, there's a lot going on in her life and she kind of decided to run away from it in sort of a pilgrimage sort of way. So like it's it's a lot. There is a run-in with a monastery in here which really reminded me of The Name of the Rose. So if you know you like that book and want to read something that's a little bit lighter but might have some of that vibe, uh, it's very brief but it's in here and I just I loved this book. I rated it five stars which is higher than I rated Serafina or Shadow Scale. Um, I'm very excited for the next book in this series. I don't know when it will be out but it's coming according to Rachel Hartman's Twitter. Loved, loved, loved it. Yes. And the final book that I read, finally, was Arrival by Ted Shang. This book used to be published under Stories of Your Life and Others. Stories of Your Life is a story that Arrival is based off of the movie. And I adored this. I rated it five stars, which has never before happened to a short story collection. So there is eight stories in total in here, ranging from like 30, well, ranging from four to like 50 pages. So there's a lot, large variety, and each story um, talks about different things as well, which I really like. Uh, so the first story, Tower of Babylon, takes place in Babylon, um, which was really cool. They talk about cigarettes, they talk about cubics, and all that sort of stuff. So it really brought back my heart. Um, it was also fa a fairly religious story, rated at five stars. Understand was another great one. Uh, so this is about a protein tr hormone treatment, um, it's called like special K or something like that, and it gives people superhuman thought abilities. It was a really cool story, I rated it five stars. Division by Zero was like a failed love story. Uh, in between each part of the story they had information about mathematical proofs. As someone who did try to study math for a while, I really enjoyed that. I rated it four stars. Story of Your Life, which again is a story that Arrival is based on, was amazing. It was super cool. I loved it. It was very true. The movie was very true to the story. I like how it flashed back and forth between different perspectives. I, I rated it five stars. It was great. 72 Letters was very cool. It was about golems um, and, you know, again, had very religious undertones because it was dealing with Judaism. And I rated that four stars. Evolution of Human Science was just like a very quick treatise sort of thing. I rated it four stars. It wasn't anything super special, but it was very well written and very cool. My favorite in this collection was actually Hell is an Absence of God. It, again, is a more religious one where angels are actually coming down to the earth, causing problems, and it's about this man's struggles with religion and faith. And I thought it was really good. It was a very good time for me to read that because that's something that I'm going through right now, and I rated it five stars. And the final story in this collection was Like What You See, a documentary, which is about um, an implant that people ha were having put in their brains that prevented you from seeing beauty in faces um, to lessen discrimination and it was a discussion about how is that ethical, what does that mean in the grand scheme of things and you know asking those sort of questions. It was very very interesting. I really enjoyed it. I rated it five stars. So yes. So those are all the books that I read this month in the month of February. It was a great month. I'm really proud of how well I did. March is shaping up to be a little bit not as great of a month. I have perhaps overextended myself on my TBR, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how it turns out. If you want to find out about in real time about how my reading is going, please watch my weekly vlogs. I think that they are okay and you get to, you know, find out a little bit more about me, which I think is kind of cool. But that's it. That's the end of this. I'll see you next month for a wrap up and uh, let me know if you've read any of these books in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. I'll see you next time. <laughs>